before we get started, I just want to say for some reason my audio was like double compressed. So I might sound really, really weird in this video. I apologize. Next video will be different and back to normal. Hello everyone and welcome back to Spectre. We're here to finally do a new series. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while that I just never really got around to starting. But as you can see from the title or the thumbnail or both, whatever you uh, prefer to look at whenever you click a video, this is a series revolved around wheels, okay? I don't know what it's gonna be called yet. I still have to think of that. I still have to make the thumbnail. I don't know. Hopefully I make something good. Um, but this series is all about wheels, okay? So I got a comment a really, really long time ago telling me an idea, right? Like this was like a year ago and I'm sorry, I could not find who it is. I looked for such a long time, like at least 20 minutes. That's a long time to me. And I could not find who it was. So as you can see on this page right here, we have a wheel, okay? Um, the person's idea was once you die with a character, that character is gone. You cannot play that character anymore. So as you see, we have 50 characters on my main account, Angelic Ability, right? So this means we have 50 lives. If we die, we remove it, right? So Cormac, we played as Cormac. Cormac is dead. We're removed, right? Gone. We still have 49 lives, right? Which is crazy. So my plan was to make a new account, uh, which I did. Which you can see. You could also see all my like task bar stuff just because I haven't full screened it yet because my computer would probably die. So we have a new character called One Character One Life. Which, if you look in the inventory, we only have four characters, which are the four default characters. Which makes this much, much, much easier for us to actually do a series out of. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, of course, uh, using our main account as well because I need insanity. I cannot do this without insanity, right? And if we just go back to the picker wheel, uh, and un full screen it because it was full screen. We have the wheel for the other one too. So this wheel is not needed, right? We're not doing 50 lives. That's too many. We have four lives, right? To, so to start it off, of course, we're going to spin it. All right, let's see what character we have to use this game. We're going to do this for every single round and whatever it picks, we play as, right? Andre, there we go, right? Um, we're going to keep it there for now because we don't know if we're going to die. We got disconnected on that, that's fine. Uh, and we're gonna go into characters and pick Andre, right? Does not really matter the skin, it's just the character and that's it. Um, and then if we go back to the picker wheel, we have some more things to do, right? There's also the map we have to pick. There are 13 maps, I think, currently in the game. So let's do a little spin on this as well. And we got factory for a first map that's fantastic and this is not the last thing there's also the challenge wheel and if you guys have any recommendations um i'll be looking at the comments for the first like day or two so if you want me to add any you know other challenges to this just let me know right there's a few decent ones and a few bad ones it's just i added what i used to do is like my other challenge videos and stuff so uh, you know we might die instantly lose our life or we'll get something easy i'm honestly not sure so let us see. No evidence. So this is something everybody wanted me to do. I am actually really upset I got this one on Factory because Factory is like a hard map. We could have lost a life, made this a lot more interesting. But no evidence means we're not allowed to gather evidence, right? Um, which makes this much, 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 much harder because we just have to get in the game and guess, which means we'll get a little bit of money, which is good, honestly, because then maybe I could buy like a crucifix with my little bit of money I earn. Um, but that's that's pretty much the series, right? So if you guys like it, you know, we'll do it more, which I, I probably will do it more even if you guys don't like it because it's honestly a great idea, in my opinion. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but maybe I am. Like, who is this nerd? Angelic ability? Ugh. No, I like my one character, one life. I think that's that's much, much better. All right. So this series is going to be weird. We have literally no money. We have zero dollars, so we can't add anything. We just have to go in and see what happens. If we die, we die. Also, much angelic ability in my game. Block. Ugh. God, I wish everybody would do that to me. Um, I need to actually unblock because I need to get back in my game in the future. But of course, there is one thing I will have to do first. Uh, make sure everything is set up properly. It is. Nice. 
So, uh, Angelic ability here. What a loser. Uh, we're gonna be taking in some stuff. Remember, we cannot get any evidence. But the thing is, I still want to try to find the bone and stuff. I vanished, of course, because my Wi-Fi turned off on that uh, that account, which is okay. So we're going to go in. Uh, I guess we, we can't cheat. We're actually on one life, right? We cannot cheat. So we got to go in. Did I get the key? I, I am honestly not sure if I got the key. I did. Okay. We're going to go in and we're going to try to find the dirty water and the bone. We need at least a little bit of money, right? We cannot do evidence, but we can still guess the ghost. So we're going to come through. I don't remember where the bone is or anything, right? And maybe we could try to determine what the ghost is due to like it's maybe speed or something. Like we can maybe have it chase after us. This might actually be a really, really bad thing. Um, I think there's only one spawn I know of. So I'm just going to head up there for now. Um, of course, stairs, one of my weaknesses in real life. Surprisingly, not a weakness for Andre. Just gotta get all the way up to the third floor, which is the only location I know about. I think. It's either the third floor or the second floor. I, I think there's there's one in one of the rooms up here. Um, I think it's the office room, right? Hmm. It is not up here. I have no idea where it is. There's not even a phone in here. How are you calling? And there's a phone downstairs, right? Uh, we will check the other rooms up here just because I, I really, really need this money. We got the floaty boy ghost, of course. It's not our transparent buddy, which would be kind of nice. Uh, maybe I could like have maybe a, a fourth wheel to rotate or spin just to get our, uh, our friendly buddy back. Also, apologies if my body moves randomly. Um... I tried changing up some like settings through a um, a client for my uh, camera thing to where my body doesn't rotate as much. But the thing I've noticed, it rotates more. Does it? No. Wow. Do I even have that on my main account? I probably do, right? Um. Let's just do. Th oh, we found the ghost room. Oh crap! Does that mean we failed the the challenge? Because we we're supposed to do no evidence, right? Why did I drop my flashlight? I need that. I just wanted the water. I did not mean to do that. So it's it's not a gin. Um, I guess we could we could decipher this challenge as something else. Maybe what we can do is make it so it's we cannot you know use evidence gathering stuff. So no evidence could be instead deciphered as no evidence gathering, right? So if we stumble across evidence, then so be it, right? It's not like I knew there was freezing temperatures in here, right? What I do want though is this. This freaking water, though. I don't know if water spawns anywhere else. I, I think this is the only spot I know about. So we gotta just keep waiting until then. And also, it's surprising that there's still this hole right here. Like, you walk and just, like, fall. Uh oh, the fuse went off. Um. I don't know what this ghost would even be. Just, like, deciphering evidence of, like, their, their reactions and stuff. Because, like. Ow! Um, like, we're playing on Insanity, right? So every single ghost turns off the fuse box really quick. But this time it didn't turn off really quick. So does that mean it's like a certain type of ghost? You know, it hasn't hunted yet. I Meaning it's not aggressive. But since I said something about it, now it is. Um, and the issue is I have no idea where this ghost is. And I don't want to lose my first life. So we're going to just stay on the staircase. If we see it, we run. Oh, hi, buddy. Okay, so we found him. Um, we just got to make sure to survive, of course. That is the, the main aspect of the game right now. Uh, so, Ghost, just don't do what you're wanting to do, okay? Remember, my name is also Angelic Ability. I am Angelic Ability, meaning you do not have to do this to me, right? You do not have to kill me. I'm... I'm the normal me. I'm just not on the normal me account. Um, so please, you know. Oh, bone. Oh, that's some money. We did it. All right. Even if we lose this, we still get a little bit of money. I, I will accept this. Okay. So freezing temperatures, right? Uh, Demon, Yuri. What's our sanity on? Uh, 73. So it's not a Yuri. Uh, it's not a phantom because I looked at it for a little bit. 
This could be a mare. Uh, Wendigo, maybe, because it, it wasn't as fast, because of course, you have some sanity. Uh, Banshee, it could be. I did not look for fingerprints, which is the issue. Uh, so I'm gonna go with uh, Demon, because I have no idea. We might get this entirely wrong, but it's okay. And we'll get a little bit of experience and some money, and then we can maybe start saving up for a new character or some items to actually help us. But if we get it right, it, wait, it was a Yuri? How? Oh, we had so much sanity left. I'm so confused. All right, well, $45. What can we get with $45? Uh, a glow stick. So we do have Andre, right? But the thing is, should we keep using him until we die? Or do we spin it again every single time? Right? Because like, I, I think I do want to maybe keep using them. Right? So we have him for the entire video until he dies. Right? So I, I think that's going to be the new rule. So map, though, does change. Factory should be removed. So let me actually remove it and then respin it. So now we have alleyway the smallest map so i should be able to do this no matter what i should be able to do it so alleyway can actually be uh removed from this and then our challenge for the game to determine if we're gonna live or die which i forgot to remove the uh, other one sadly is left hand only which should be okay so that's left hand only and no evidence gone and now we could just get right on in Oh, I'm pressing start on the wrong character. I'm, I'm so used to doing it on this screen. I have two different screens on right now, and I'm like, just clicking on the normal one. I'm like, why are you not starting? What is the matter? Please, please start. <laughs> there we go. Teleported us in. Um, I might lag when it loads in, actually, thinking about it. I'm not sure. Just because it is trying to load two different games, and my computer uh, is not the greatest. Okay, so of course, I will close my other one and they should disappear also i just realized i still have my little thing on over there i, I think i need to get rid of that the the drop sprint toggle tool journal all right so we got our flashlight uh oh yeah we're supposed to be doing left hand only oh god um let me actually let me move my mouse pad onto my desk like onto the top part of my desk because then maybe i can actually do this quick or actually do i even need my mouse is the question can I just do this with my arrow keys, right? Because then, like, I could turn and stuff um, with my arrow keys only. Which should work, right? Um, so, uh, what's the toggle button again? Q. So, I actually, I don't even need my mouse for this, which is nice. Okay, so what we're going to do, of course, is uh, try to get through here without dying, right? Okay, we found the first room. Uh, we need to, of course, now grab the mouse. And how do I drop again? G. Oh, no. This is going to be the, the pain, though. Okay, we dropped it. Now we just try to get back out, of course. All right. We're doing okay. My body is not liking this. It's like going sideways and stuff. But we're doing okay. We got, you know, two of the items in there. And, of course, uh, we got a midget. It's like me. It's actually kind of nice doing left hand, because I can still, like, sprint and stuff. It's just the issue is I can't really look around all that much. Okay, so we got all of our things in here. And now, of course, that sounds like EMF5, right? Yeah. Um, so EMF... Five, I believe I saw freezing temperatures. It is, okay. Any prints or anything? Oh, we got some prints. Okay, so we did it. Okay, so this is a banshee. We have already finished it. Um, which we could just leave it like that. But now the issue is we need to try to get as much money as possible because we need to either start buying items or we need to start buying new lives, right? We need as many lives as possible. Uh, so what we're going to do is, of course, come down here, check if the bone is down here. It is. So we'll just grab this real quick. Um, 
and try to turn <laughs> ourselves, which is really, really difficult with one hand. It's a lot easier with my left hand, I think, though. With doing this with my right hand, I think I would struggle more. Uh, we need water. Got it. Nice. Okay, no, no stress. No stress. We just get out. No stress at all. Okay, we got an easy one. Starting off strong with factory was not good, right? But doing it like this was good. And we got two challenges done. We should get money. We did it. We got money. I hope. We did, okay, $165. And we did it left hand only. Okay. <sighs> so we have some money, right? So what we can do is we can continue saving and buy a character, right? So if we buy another one of these characters, then we'll have five lives. But the thing is, we're still doing good, right? We're going strong. I think we should be okay to buy some items, right? We don't entirely need a strong flashlight just yet, so I won't worry about that. But what I will worry about is a crucifix, okay? Because this will save my life over and over and over again, right? So we will take this, and I believe that is all we need. And now we're maybe going to save up money until we die, and then we need to get another one. Um, or until we get another character, which I think, I think might be the best. Of course, before we actually get everything started again, we need to pick the next map. So the next map is going to be... Luxury Home. All right, not the hardest, not the greatest though, okay? Next challenge is going to be hopefully nothing too difficult to end the video because this is gonna probably be last round. Please be something easy. Backwards only. So we are only allowed to walk backwards. We have to run away from the ghost backwards, um, which is gonna be extremely frustrating, but I have a lot of practice with this one. This is one that I actually have done several times, so we should be okay, I I hope. I really, really hope. Um, so of course we gotta just rejoin, ready up and everything. Um, we do have to add our crucifix though, because we did get to buy that. Um, which is lucky for us. So we're on to Luxury Home. And we start. So this is going to be the last one. So I guess every single video we do for this, I want to try to get three rounds done. And maybe for like special ones, we'll maybe go for a little bit more. Or for maybe for the ones that we die really early on, maybe we'll do a little bit extra. I'm not entirely sure yet. It's just, like I said, we're testing out new series. I, I want to see how things work. I want to see how you guys, you know, react to it. And if you guys like it or not. So, of course, like I said, we have to only do backwards. But at least we now have a crucifix. So, if we do get too stressed out, we should be safe. Um, which, of course, what I like doing with the crucifix at the start is just putting it next to the building, but not actually go in with it. Because I believe the ghost will never hunt until you actually go into the building at the start. So, what we're going to do, of course, is not do that. Uh, we're going to just put it, like, right here for now. So if we're ever being chased, we could try to run there. If we're upstairs, it's going to have to run past to trigger, right? And then, of course, we'll come back and get our other item, wherever the entrance to the van is. Um, which I like going with the book, just because, like, it, we have to maybe, like, run back around the map and stuff, and it gives the, the ghost more time to write. So, of course, let us continue on. Um, of course, our main objective is getting money as well, like, besides living. So main objective, living. Second objective, money. Because we need more lives. We need to just keep getting as much money as possible. We need to do things. So the best thing about this, right? This is an idea I had. We need to do Easter eggs. If we do Easter eggs, we'll be able to get other characters, right? For free. Like we get Braylene for doing, I think, like the art gallery or something. Or Jonas or something for that. Which is a free character. And if we do the arcade Easter egg, we get $10,000. Meaning we could buy as many characters as we want. So if we ever get to arcade, that's where, you know, everything will get so much easier. So arcade is what I'm looking out for whenever we get arcade. It's going to be a long game. Uh, it's going to be risky because, of course, we have to do the entire Easter egg and not die. But we do have three lives during the boss fight. So I believe we should be okay in, you know, that regard at least. Because if we die once, it's not like we'll die instantly. It's if we actually die and get kicked out of the game. Um, God, I just went on like a really long spiel about stuff. Just completely forgot that we're actually doing like something that I need to be careful about. Because if we die, we're done. 
Like Andre is dead then. Um. Okay, we found the ghost room. Nice. Uh, we haven't found the bone yet though, which is the thing. I I, I guess it's in the last spot to check. Right. So we're gonna go and check over there. Also, we need the dirty water as well. But bone is the other thing that we need. So even if we do die, we get a little bit of money for our next character. So of course, we need to just run out of the building and not die in the, in, you know, the process. One thing is though, I do wanna move the crucifix a little bit closer to the, the center of the map. Just because uh, crucifixes are, you know, they have a radius. They're really, really helpful because of that. So what I can do is I could put it like right here, for example, and it'll get the upstairs and the downstairs. So if the ghost is like spawned in the kitchen, it'll come through, or if it's spawned upstairs, it'll come through and, you know, get murdered. It's just uh, a way to protect yourselves as much as possible. And as you see, like I've lost a lot more sanity than I did on that factory game. That's what I'm so confused about. I'm already down to 60%. On our, our, like, Insanity game on Factory, I think I put it on Insanity, at least. Like, we were in there for, like, a few minutes, and we still had 70%. How was that a Yuri? I'm still so confused about that. Um, but either way, we're in a different game now. We got some money from that game, at least. That's, that's what matters. 45 bucks, I think it was. Um... Oh, we have writing? That's good. Alright, that's one thing. Was that freezing? Okay, we have freezing and writing. Watch now, this is the Yuri. That's gonna be the thing, isn't it? Alright, we need to be by the door in case we need to run. Actually, so was there any fingerprints? Because it did knock, didn't it? There is none. Okay, so this is not a Banshee. It's not a Wendigo anyways, because there's no, um... There's no writing. Ah, uh, no, not writing, uh... There's, there is writing, meaning we Bam. cannot get it. Bam. Oh, we got spirit box. Okay, that is it. We got ourselves a demon. The ghost did not even hunt, which is weird. Um, but I guess it's just like a test run, just to see what you guys think. Like, doesn't have to be too funny or too like severe or intense yet. It's all about you know just getting guys' opinion. Maybe adding more challenges. Maybe make it a lot more harder and stuff. So, like I said, if you guys have any good ideas for challenges. Let me know, right? I'm not the greatest at this game. I will 100% die to some challenges. Like, backwards only was a little bit easier, honestly. If the ghosts were chasing us, we still maybe would have been fine. Um, but that is... Oh, actually, that is not it. We need dirty water. Which means we are going to put our life at risk. Uh, we do sell the crucifix, though. It has not been used up, so we should be fine. I'm going the complete wrong way. <laughs> Okay, so no dirty water in the bathroom uh, of the, the main floor. What about the sink? Yes! Okay, so we got this. We're fine. Okay, it is hunting. Uh, we do have the crucifix, though, so we are fine here. Um, we're not going to pick it up or anything. We're just going to leave it here. I don't know where he actually was just coming from, but we're fine, right? So we get out. We're okay. That is that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this like new kind of format series kind of thing. Um, it, it's going to be a lot scarier later on. Um, maybe like if you guys don't think doing the arcade thing is an like a good idea, like it is us trying to earn money. Um, but like, I don't. I, I just think it's a better idea because then we get as much money as possible. But then the thing is, we have too many lives. I think we could buy like like 20 lives with one arcade easter egg which i think is too much like if you guys don't think i should do it you know make sure to let me know in the comments if you actually made it this far in the video uh that would be great but we've got some more money right so we have 305 dollars which um we can't get any other characters of course but we can maybe get some more items uh so if we want we could actually start going for a flashlight which would be kind of nice uh we don't really need anything else though do we like, actually playing this game, the only thing I ever take is a strong flashlight and a crucifix. Like, when I do solo games. So, I, I don't think we need anything else. Everything else is about just getting, um... Getting characters, I guess, so we have more lives. 
Um, which I, I guess that's that. We got to level two. We got two wins. The first one was, of course, uh, guessing, so we failed. Um, and we got some experience. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. If you guys have any other challenges for me to add to the list. Um, I will show the challenges one more time just so you know what not to add because we already have them. So these are the challenges that we already have. So if you guys want to add any, just, just don't do these since we already have them. Um, try to get something new, something that's going to be exciting uh, that will maybe kill me. Like I said, I'm not going to add all of them. I'll pick and choose ones that I think maybe just look good, right? Or maybe that look fun. But I just want to say right now, Andre, you did a great job. You lived today. You survived three games. That means next time we're going to be doing the wheel again and maybe we'll get Andre again. Or maybe we'll get some other characters. We'll have to wait and see. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I'll be looking through the comments. I really want to see what you guys think about this. Um, you know, have a great day or night. I don't know how many times we're going to be doing this, uh, like, over and over again. Like, maybe it'll be, like, a weekly series. Or maybe, like, whenever I don't have anything else, I'll just come on and do this. Because it's it gives me content to work towards. Meaning we will get videos done. Hopefully. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, let me get a hand. I got a hand. Okay. Bye, everyone. See you guys next time.